Hi, I'm Tara Lee, and it's time to read! Yay! <laughs> Today's book is called The Subway Mouse. The Subway Mouse by Barbara Reed. Nib was a subway mouse. He was born into a large family that lived below the platforms in a busy subway station. The mice called their home Sweetfall. While the trains thundered overhead, the grown up mice gathered food. When the trains rested, they came home to their nests. In the quiet, the old mice told stories. Stories about tunnels and a dangerous, roofless world filled with mouse-eating monsters. But Tunnel's End was also beautiful. The air was sweet. A brave mouse could find the tastiest foods the softest nests. Story time was Nib's favorite time of day. When he grew big enough to hunt for food, Nib explored the station floor. He found strange things, beautiful things, and things that reminded him of his favorite stories. He started to bring these things home. Your garbage is crowding our babies, the mothers complained. Your babies are nibbling my stuff, Nib answered. Then he had an idea. He found an empty corner and built a snug hideout. Nib loved to come home, wash up, and fall asleep, surrounded by his colorful treasures.
he traveled to Tunnel's End in his dreams. One night, Nib came home to a mess. Nice place, said his cousin, Carmel. We fixed it up, added Ripper. Got anything to eat? asked Pitt. They stayed all night. Pitt snored. The coming rumble of the morning train woke the cousins. They scratched stretched and scampered off. See you later, Nib, said Carmel. We'll bring Stinky and Crumbs tonight. A train pounded into the station in a cloud of dust. The brakes screamed. <sighs> Another noisy day, thought Nib. Another noisy, dirty, dull, gray day. With a warning hiss, the train tore out of the station. Whoosh! A gust of wind snatched up the pieces of Nib's ruined nest. One tiny feather swirled and flew away down the tunnel and out of sight. Nib had another idea. Goodbye, he trotted past his cousins. You can have my nest. I'm going to Tunnel's End. <laughs> You'll starve, said Pitt. <laughs> You'll be gobbled up, said Ripper. Carmel sniffed. <laughs> Tunnel's End? <laughs> That's just an old mouse tail. The next train drowned out their laughter. Nib counted five trains before he looked back. He had never been this far from home. The tunnel stretched on. Nib curled into a crack to sleep. He woke up stiff and sore. Jogging along, he tried not to think about food. Up ahead, the tunnel brightened. Nib started to run. <gasps> Tunnel's end! Reaching the light, Nib blinked. Was he back home? Who are you? Nib jumped. It was a strange mouse. My name is Nib, he pointed behind him. I came from Sweetfall. Hmm, never heard of it, said the strange mouse. I'm Lola. This is Sugar Drop. Nib pointed ahead. I'm going to Tunnel's End. Pooh, said Lola. That's just an old mouse tail. 
Well, said Nib, at least you've heard of it. A train came and went. Maybe I should come with you, Lola said. Maybe you should, said Nib, and started down the track. Hold it! Lola caught a wrapper in midair. No point traveling on an empty stomach. They licked the paper clean. Together, they passed out of Sugar Drop and into the next tunnel. Many trains later, the mice reached another station. Nib saw a jelly bean and pounced. Drop it! A big mouse blocked their path. Two others stepped out from behind him. <gasps> Run! Lola squeaked. Dodging and darting, they ran the length of the station with the gang snapping at their tails. They were far into the next tunnel before the cries of stop, thief, died out. Nib still had the jelly bean, but now there was no turning back. The tunnel went on and on <clears throat> and on. There were many stations. There was not much to eat. As they plodded along another unending curve, the last train roared past. There was no sign of a station. Lola stopped. Thin. I'm hungry and thirsty, and I need a rest in a nest. I quit. There's nothing here, said Nib. We have to go on. I won't, said Lola. Look, I'm making a nest. She plucked a feather from under the rail. Nib knew it at once. That's mine. He grabbed for it. Finders keepers, said Lola. She sat on it. A tiny far off note echoed through the tunnel. Nib's fur stood on end. What was that? Lola's eyes grew large. Again, they heard the small musical chirp. They started toward the sound. As they rounded the corner, a light breeze brushed their whiskers. Mmm, sighed Lola. Sweet. More voices joined the song. 
the tunnel widened to a soft light. Tunnels end, breathe Nib. Come on, Lola dove into the forest of wet grass. Nib chased after her. The mice raced to the hilltop where they feasted on seeds, drank the dew, and danced in the moonlight. They slept right through the morning trains. Tunnel's End was more dangerous than Nib had imagined. It was also more beautiful than he had dreamed. Lola made herself at home. Later, as she tucked their mouse children into a snug nest, Nib told them stories. It was their favorite time of day. The end. The end. Nib went on quite the adventure, didn't he? Did you like this story? Would you give it a thumbs up? Yay! Or a thumbs down? Boo! <laughs> Let me know down below and I'll see you next time to read. Bye!